I speak a lot about the fact that your personality can impact the effectiveness of your study sessions and how you study your habits, et cetera, et cetera. It's, it's all well and good to talk about this in vague terms, but let's get a little bit more practical. So let me share some of the ways that my personality impacted my studying. I want to make it clear that I didn't know about this at the time. I didn't know and I didn't really make these connections at the time because when I was studying, all I was thinking about was I have to study today. I've got to go to class today. I've got to work today. I've got to do this today. Um, why can't, you know, I, I can't do this. Like, why, I, why can't I do this? Why can't I do this? Um, I wasn't looking for different answers. I wasn't looking for solutions. Um, I thought that I knew exactly what the problems were. I didn't know my stuff well enough. I wasn't, you know, and, and so that was it. And I just needed to work harder and study more, etc. So it's not like I was looking for these types of solutions. Now, when I step back, I can see the connections a lot easier. I didn't see them at the time. And most of my students don't either. This is not something we're naturally thinking about. So, you know, when I say to my students, what are you struggling with the most? They're going to come up with things like, I don't understand that topic. Um, I'm struggling with that particular subject. I don't have great classes for this. Or, you know, I keep failing that. But these types of issues don't enter into it. It's not something we're thinking of. It's not something we're consciously thinking of. So let me, let me make it really practical. With a couple of examples in no particular order of in no particular order of how much or how little they affected me. To start off with, I am an off the chart introvert. Uh, the most simple way of understanding ex introversion extroversion is about where you get your energy from. So um, an introvert will recharge their mental batteries and feel energized uh, by spending time on their own. Uh, people who sort of are using the phrase like, oh, I really need some space. I really need some time out. I need to be myself for a little bit. People who find big groups and, uh, you know, activities with a lot of other people fairly draining where they feel like, you know, they've been in a group of people, they've been to functions or parties and they're like, oof, I just, I want to go home now and be, be by myself and recharge. Those are generally introverts. It doesn't mean that you're not good with people. It doesn't mean that you can't socialize. It doesn't mean any of that. It's just that as you're getting into um, situations or as you're getting into interactions with people, you can kind of start feeling your energy draining away. Extroverts, on the other hand, are energized by the world around them and by people around them. So these are the people who are like, I really need to spend time with my friends. I'm feeling so exhausted, like I need to recharge by spending time with other people. The world around them and people around them provide the energy and they find it quite exhausting to be on their own. Um, they find it draining to be, you know, to just be on their own without external stimulation and without the stimulation of being around other people and having them refill their energy or recharge their energy. So as an introvert... I find it exhausting to be around other people for extended periods of time. How, does, how did this impact my studying? I didn't want to be in study groups. The idea of developing study groups horrified me. I don't want to be studying with other people because studying is a very intense mental process and I want to save the mental energy I have and do this on my own. I had one study buddy. We studied together a lot, especially in postgrad. We spent a lot of time together, but a lot of the time we spent was us studying separately together. So we would we would be in the same room, but we would be doing our own studies and we'd kind of meet in the middle and talk a little bit about it. This is very different to how an extrovert would prefer to study. I want to be in a study group where we're bouncing ideas off each other, we're talking, we're feeding energy off of each other. I want to be around other people that I can talk to, relate to, tell how I'm feeling. Um, and we're energized by the people around us. So it makes sense that when we're doing something that challenges us, we want to be around other people. Um, so you're more likely to gravitate towards study groups and study buddies. Whereas for me as an introvert, you know, I was more just stay away from me. You know, I'll go to class, I'll do my thing. And then I want to come back. I want to study in my own quiet space. So being an introvert or an extrovert, my, my introversion impacted my studying. Thankfully, the studying that I did required um, independent work. Me sitting down on my own and, and making the information my own and understanding what was going on. If I was in a position where I needed to work in a group of people and I needed to be in a, gr a study group, I would have been very unhappy. Thankfully, my studying didn't require that. Um, it would have been very frustrating for me and very difficult for me to be in that situation. 
you know, take, take a think about the studying that you do and take a think about your introversion, extroversion, and, and think about what energizes you. Are you perhaps struggling with your studying because you're spending too much time on your own and perhaps interacting with someone else a little bit more who understands you, who's on similar pages, et cetera, et cetera. Um, perhaps that might provide you with some of the mental energy you need, or perhaps you're in a study group and you're feeling drained and frustrated and you're not, you know, everyone else is saying this is such a great idea and you're like, mm, this is, uh, I'm really struggling with this, that might be it. So for better or worse, uh, my introversion, uh, that's one of the ways that my personality impacted my studying.